Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is the GWE 100, the tier 10 German SPG. It's located on the south spawn of Overlord, and this one is under the command of Beowulf 19K30. And it's been a while since we've seen him in an RT, but he has been on the channel before. Game on. Well, he's got the colourful one with all the camo on it. I, I'm not sure if I actually have the camo version. I'm pretty sure I don't, actually. I do have the 261 with the camo, but not the GWE 100. That's a bit of a pity I don't have my, I think it was the Christmas one, wasn't it? The uh, They put it out. But it's a 21 centimeter howitzer, capable of doing 900 alpha, 53 millimeters of pen, 11.4 meters on the burst radius, between 12 and a half and 31 seconds of stun. Ready to go. First target he sees is the Scorpion G, just sitting in the bowl doing absolutely nothing. Rouse out. Well, yeah, he's back in the garage now and he's wondering what the hell happened. Yes, you just got penned by a 21 centimeter shell. 435 hits points is all that we managed to get out of it, but he must have been hit by somebody else. I'm pretty sure that actually what happened was he came into the bowl, several guys hit him and tracked him, and then of course uh, Beowulf just wiped him out. Rouse out. Perfect hit. 175, but he didn't get a pen. It hit the front of the vehicle rather than the rear, but it's a nice amount of stun. Or is it? No, actually it's a small amount of stun because he's now free of stun altogether. Now I was saying the other day, actually, I think it's a good idea for certain artists to try different varieties of shells. So you carry some non-stun HG on some of the tanks that your teammates cannot see at any one time. He's got this 257, he's just lining up the shot, working out where the guy's going. Rounds out. That's better. 312, but it was a near miss. But he did get some nice hit points off that one. And he's still got stun on him. Now that guy is heading in our direction, but he's going to get intercepted momentarily by Barask, who's going to finish him off. Yes, he's got a nice amount of hit points. In fact, he's going down the chime. He's being chased down the chime by a Barask. <laughs> so, yeah, I think he'll the Barask will shoot him up the rear. That was a nice hit on the object treble 72. The 257 just got hit by the TL7. He's up on top of the cliff. But um, he's nil, not out of the game yet, but he will be momentarily. Yep, because the Barass has caught up with him and reloaded. And hopefully he'll finish him off. We're looking at the Object Travel 72 on the enemy team. And we're loaded. Rounds out. That's a kill. So he's gone out of the game with that one shot. We can just see down on the beach that there's a defender down there. Now, it looks like the Object 257 managed to get away, but um, not very far. Now he's gone. So we're five up on the enemy and our teammate in the um, in the bowl, it's a T-54 lightweight, just spotted this uh, Hori-1. And there's an Emil one there. Uh, Progetto 46. Whenever you say Holy One, I think you, you actually uh, think you might be swearing, swearing or taking the Lord's name in name. Oh! <laughs> and that Progetto went down as well. They are literally tearing the enemy a new one. This is a great battle. This team is really on the ball. We're seven up on the enemy now. There's a 261 sitting up there on that bank. He's been tracked and he's about to receive another shell, but he might be able to get a chance to pull back. No, he's been tracked again. He's not going anywhere. Next shell, rounds out. Direct hit in his side, 403. He's still stunned and there he goes down with the stun assist. It's now 10 tanks, the difference between our team and the enemy. They've only got four tanks left. 
an Amiya 1, an Object 261, the Hori 1, or Hori shit, sorry, I um, shouldn't say that word, um, yes, Hori, <laughs> Hori 1, yes, Amiya 1, Salad Saladin, uh, and that's it, basically. <laughs> Oh, we planted that one in there to try and splash the enemy, Object 261, sitting behind that house at the moment. And I think he's actually aiming at our guys further down on the beach. There's the hurry one. Yes, yeah, so I have to remember not to say the four-letter word, because if I do, um, well, Google won't like it. Hurry one's being hammered. Look at the shells going into him. We loaded but we've got a full left rescue and he's now gone down we picked up the stun assist off that one as well there's only one enemy left it's the object 261 he's hiding but the t54 lightweight oh and it's not him who gets the kill the e75 wins the game well that was a fairly quick game but it was also a fun one that was an ace tanker game for beowulf 19k30 in the GW E900, and it was a good game. He also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got 10, uh, but he didn't get anything else. No other medals in the game, but let's have a look at the team scores and see where he was. Well, we can see that when it came to damage in that one, the E75 was doing very well with 4,403 hit points of damage. Second highest damage was the 50 TP, who managed 3,373. And the third highest damage, well, that went to Beowulf. He got 2,390 in third place. When it came to kills, we can see the high scorers were the E75, the Batchap Rask, and the Besante C45. They all managed to get three kills. Two kills went to Beowulf and also to the Hori 1 on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP... We can see it was the E75 again with 1,148. In fact, he was the only player to get over 1,000 base. When in second place, the T54 lightweight with 976. I guess he was doing a fair bit of spotting in that one. And 962 went to the Brask, who managed, uh, yes, that's in third place, with Beowulf just behind him with 933. Uh, so, yes, well done, Beowulf. Let's have a look at detail. He only fired nine rounds to get an ace tanker. Would you believe that? Five direct hits on the enemy. One was a penetrating shot and eight splash. Damage of 2,390 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. So which one do you think he actually penetrated? Well, we don't have to look very far. It was the first shot he actually fired. The scorpion right in the middle of the bowl who actually got tracked and was sitting there uh, all defenseless, nothing he could do about it. Already taken a big hit because he actually only had a, a small number of hit points left. Um, but I think it was 430, and I think they have 1,150 when they're fresh and they're brand new. Um, so he'd already lost quite a lot of hit points because he was sit sitting there all alone. Um, we decided to send him a shell and put him out of the game. And that sent him straight back to the garage with a penetrating shot straight through the front of his vehicle. So, yes, Scorpions and SU-130PMs are beautiful targets to hit because they are so easy to pen. So, well done on getting that penetration. He also got seven enemy vehicles damaged, two killed, 2,155 hit points of stun assist of seven stuns. And I think the combination of those damage gave him the ace tanker. On a premium account, actually, on this occasion, he actually managed to get a profit of 37,875 credits because, of course, he didn't have to pay for resupply of consumables, I presume because he actually has them stocked up in advance like I do and like many other players do. He also picked up 3,500 experience points out of that one as well, so it was profitable. But look at the time, 5 minutes 38 seconds. I've been describing the results longer than he actually played that game. That's how quick it was. But it was a good game. It was an ace tanker game and it was over very, very quickly because they had great shots on the enemy. And Beowulf did put that first shot in uh, very nicely to take out that scorpion. Hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.